So, big ranger tonight, guys. Uh, big ranger, we're late in getting the caliper there. Uh, TNT, we're having some issues or something like that. So, um, I it was a wee bit late. Um, and get, it was maybe yesterday, and it wasn't yesterday. And then, phone at 11 the day, phone at 11 wasn't there. Oh, so, it was squeaky bum time. Then, about, I think it was about three, half three, the phone does. So, I straight up and got it. I had to get the kids for school and kiddie care. And then, I so. Aye, so then we're back here late one of the night, guys, because cars do its MOT, of course, on Sunday, of course. So we're going to rattle this one out, guys. And of course, it's a big rangey, so they're never easy. Uh, never easy. It's a poor looking car. It's not a good wash, mind you, but it's 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 not a good it's not a good old clean up. But it's a poor looking car, all the same. Um, so we've got this is the old dish now. We, we've got a new caliper there. Uh, thanks to that part, which I've. Thankfully, it's just started with the sound jet manufacturing these uh, Brembo's uh, calipers. So these are big, huge, massive Brembo's in there. Um, so they're, they're quite big, as you can see, let's size it. So, uh, and bleeding up on that side, bleeding up on that side, and we've got new pins and all that as well for it as well. So, because uh, they're, they're quite thin and they're prone for seasoning, I hear. Uh, sometimes they need to be drilled out and stuff, so thankfully, We've managed to get the ones out on the other side, but we really have been fighting with this caliper to get the, the middle piston back on the inner side, uh, which we didn't know about. It's come from uh, another garage, and they had found it had a seized uh, caliper on the driver's side, so they couldn't do the pads and discs on it, um, which is correct. It, it, it's into the metal on that side, so um, this side wasn't there yet, but judging by how tight this caliper was, uh, it wouldn't have been far behind it, and you can see... Uh, with the witness marks, uh, with the big lever, um, we have been struggling, but we did get it, but I would just recommend now on this uh, big Range Rover to get this caliper replaced on it as soon as possible, I think that's one of okay to get through its MOT just now, um, but I as soon as possible I think, just to keep the brakes good, it's better doing the tuning than a pair anyway, to be honest, uh, size of car this is, so... And again, we always recommend these guys for braking systems. Apex, we've got a nice blue point. Uh, quarter drive, uh, ratchet set, which has been not bad. And this is the brake pad sensor wire, which is quite a long thing, which runs away up in here. So we've taken uh, this off, we've unplugged it in there as well. We're going to give all this a good clean up, guys, as well. But you can see this big caliper that size it. So. We'll give it all a good old clean up, and of course we've got these APEC uh, pads and this, and uh, these pads, pad 1737, um, which uh, are for the Range Rover Sport, for, uh, and this is the SVR, so, and they have the 22 inch wheels I think on them, uh, 22 inch alloys on this, so big old brake pads as well, um, I believe, um, I might be wrong, but I think these might be the exact same. As your Mustang, your five litre Mustang. To be honest with you, I think they maybe share the same uh, brake calipers because we did a, a set of pads in this APEC, of course, um, on a 5 0 on a big Mustang, big uh, 5 0 from across the, the pond. They're not bad, nice cars. Um, so we did that on uh, that, and a very similar, very similar, I think it was pad 121. Um, excuse me on the Mustang, but don't quote me on that, guys, because we, we do a lot of pads and discs in here. So, and um, I well, not the discs are the same. Um, I don't know, probably, probably not, but they might be. But anyway, so we can see we've got the brand new caliper for that other side for the driver's side. We've got all this cleaned up now. We'll get the caliper cleaned up as best we can, get the bolts cleaned up, all the holes. Uh, I've been cleaned up nice and clean as possible and get it back together uh, with these new lovely APAC pads and discs on it. So, the course I earlier on, we'll try again. It <laughs> just didn't start this morning. I think the timing chain was rattling on this one, so um, it wouldn't start the course that's it's coming. I think it needs an ABS pump, wiper linkage. I think the engine's on the road out because it just... It drove over here for an MOT inspection and when I did drive it over, it was violently pulled to the right. I think I've mentioned this before. But then this morning it just wouldn't start, so I'll see if it'll start now. Hopefully it will. So I don't like pushing cars about my workshop. Oh, oh you heard that chain there. <laughs> heard that chain there. 
Oh, and she's missed by a little bit. Seems to have settled, seems to have settled down there, so I think what's happened is change all stretched on this and every time it starts up the time is it, it's probably flooded itself. And nearly, oh, nearly all, nearly there to get the gearbox out the TT guys, nearly there. Um, couple of wee issues with some 20 year old bolts that are fighting this, but uh, we'll get there, we'll get there. It's, it's not too bad for a 20 year old car in Scotland to be honest, that one. Uh, for, that is pretty decent, thank god it's a Volkswagen. So, but yep, we'll crack on here, guys, and we'll, we'll get these uh, Apex pads and discs and Brit Park caliper uh, all fitted to this vehicle and see how she goes.